Good morning, Facebook. Good morning. Hopefully everyone's having a, uh, a wonderful Friday. It's a great Friday. Uh, it's a little dreary outside here in Kansas City. I don't know what everyone else is uh, experiencing around the country, but it's still Friday nonetheless and a good one at that. Um, hopefully everyone is having a great preparation for the holidays, had a great Thanksgiving, and um, are getting ready for Christmas. You know, uh, always the most fun time of the year uh, for me, at least, uh, you know, spirit wise and good spirits. And I uh, like to see, you know, people in a good jovial mood. So hopefully everyone is, is experiencing that through 2020. It's been fun. It's been quite fun. That's only one we can look at 2020. But, you know, I thought we'd talk a little bit today as we prepare for the holidays we prepare for uh, 2021 as well. So I thought we'd talk a little bit today about goal setting. You know, um, goal setting is something that uh, I think as I, I was going through my journal, getting ready to prepare for my goal setting of 2021, you can probably see, this is one of my old ones. This is an old one, but this is, uh, let's see if we get that there. Happy 2015. So I was going through this and I was looking at my goals that I had for 2015. And, um, you know, it's always amazing when you go back and, and you look at your goals and look at how you did against those years later, um, because you kind of amaze yourself. You know, I remember um, Mikey, a buddy of mine, we had a company and we sat down and we set some goals in the beginning of the year, actually the end of the year for the previous, for the next upcoming year. And we had um, about four to five core goals for the company. And we, we set those goals and we put them at the top of the agenda. Every, every staff meeting, we would have an agenda. And we put those at the top of the staff meeting agenda. And every week, we would look at those goals and see how we compared against uh, those goals, you know, how we were trending against those goals. Every week we would look at it. It was at the top of the agenda. At the end of the year, at the end of the year, we um, we got to look back on how we did against those goals, and it was amazing, you know, that not only had we achieved those goals, but we actually blew them away. We blew every one of those goals away. And so, you know, um, it's it's important. It's been very important for me, you know, in my career to always take that time and set goals uh, at the beginning of the year. Some people call them New Year's resolutions. Um, some people call them goals, whatever. Um, you know, set some goals, establish some goals to give uh, some rails, if you will, to, to the journey uh, upcoming. So, um, Carlos Sabalos, welcome. You joined us. How you doing, my friend? Can you hear me okay? Carlos? No escuchen, amigo. No escuchen. Carlos. All right. Carlos will have to uh, join us once he can hear us. I don't think he can hear us. Carlos, no escuchen, senor. Um, hey, Sal. Good morning. Carlos, can you hear us? Carlos. All right. I don't think Carlos can hear us. He's going to have to. Uh, I'm going to take you off the stream and uh have you dial back in carlos because i can't you can't hear us can you hear me carlos okay maybe that's better now carlos can you hear me no nah, you can't hear us all right i'm taking carlos off guys i think carlos has us oh he's got us muted all right so we'll uh we'll continue forward while we wait for carlos to join us um but what i was talking about is just the the act of uh planning and preparing for success by setting goals and giving you guys an example of something that, um, you know, that we did in the past. And I do this uh, literally every year, you know, uh, this is my journal, I keep a journal and, uh, and I keep a journal for that specific reason so that I can always go back and look at things, look how things are going compared to what I had planned, but also because it's the first thing I do um, before the year starts is set some goals, man, and what I want to accomplish and what I want to do and um, and so what we want to talk a little bit about today is just some ways of, uh, of setting goals, um, some strategies to set goals and some things we should do in order to maybe help us continue to stay on pace, stay on track uh, for the achievement of those goals. 
Um, I think, you know, it's important that we have to be intentional about goal setting and we have to be intentional about goal achieving. And, um, and what, I, what I mean by being intentional about goal setting and goal achieving is uh, we have to set aside some time for goal planning and goal setting. You know, just like we set aside time on our calendar to do some different things. Hey, Kelly. Good morning, Kelly Woolery. Just like we set aside some time uh, on our calendar to, you know, for meetings and for strategies and things of that nature, we have to uh, we have to be intentional and set aside some time as well um, for goal setting. So, you know, hey, get yourself to a coffee shop, a bookshop, get in your office. You know, plan plan an hour, plan an hour or two, and just set aside some time this year, the next couple of weeks, to to do some goal setting, to actually start planning what you want to accomplish in 2021. And um, you know, we have to be intentional about it. It's it's one of those things that what what I put into it is typically what I get out of my goal setting sessions. If I if I set aside some time, if I'm intentional, if I'm truly committed and, and passionate about my goals and my goal setting. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably achieve a significant amount of those. Um, sounds good, Carlos. Uh, Carlos said he's having some tech issues. He's gonna dial back in. Um, but I'm I'm gonna probably have a good level of success in the achievement of those goals. So we have to be intentional. We have to set aside some time. Um, again, planning planning to uh, planning to succeed is about intentionality and about being organized and prepared and planned. So let's jump in and talk a little bit about some goal setting strategies and specifically something called SMART goals. So when looking at setting some goals, we have to be very smart about that, right? Uh, what is SMART? That's an acronym that stands for Specific, Achievable, uh, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, and Timely. So specific. So be very specific about, about my goals and what I want to accomplish, right? Uh, I want to specifically... Uh, you know, do X number of units or X number of dollars in terms of revenue. Um, I want to do, I want to help this many customers. Um, it's the more specific I can be in setting goals, the more successful I'm going to be in the attainment of those goals. So be very specific. Um, don't be general. And I just want to do well. Um, I want to increase my sales by 10%, right? Be very specific. Um, as to what those goals are, you know, and and one of the things that I also learned and picked up across, um, you know, my many interactions um, is to allocate by area of my life goals. So I've got a work goal. I got a family goal. Right. I've got different goals of what I want to do. I got a I got a recreational goal. Right. Um, and I look at it from the standpoint of Ford. Right. Um, some of you may have heard me talk about the acronym Ford. You know, I look at it from that standpoint, family, occupation, recreation and dreams um, and try. I try to set my my goals in, in relation to those four areas. Again, that's an acronym. Ford is an acronym. Uh, F-O-R-D is the acronym. And it stands for uh, it stands for family, uh, occupation, recreation and dreams. And so what are my family goals? Uh, what are my occupational goals? Right. That's where I would identify. I want to increase my numbers by 10 percent. I want to uh, help this many families. I want to accomplish this specifically to work occupational recreational. What are my recreational uh, goals? Do I, I want to read a book a week. I want to read you know, 10 books a year, uh, whatever the case may be. So I have some recreational goals. And uh, and then what are my dreams? Right. I've got to have I've got to have some goals and some goal setting uh, around my dreams, around what I want to accomplish long term and what I hope to do uh, outside of family and outside of recreation. And sometimes the dreams obviously are going to include family. So when you're looking at your goals and you're, you want to be specific, uh, F-O-R-D, uh, FORD is, is the acronym that you want to probably set your goals in accordance to. F-O-R-D, Family, Occupation, Recreation, and Dreams. And so when you're being specific, you're looking across those four areas, F-O-R-D, and setting specific goals relative to those areas. Um, measurable. So we want to make sure that your goal is measurable. Can I measure it? How do I know I'm being successful? How do I know I am achieving what I am attempting to achieve and what is important to me relative to my goal setting? So I've got to be measurable. I've got to be able to measure it. I want to do well is not a measurable goal, right? I, I want to increase my sales by 10% is a measurable goal. 
but I want to do well is not is not good enough. I want to travel. Okay, great. Well, where do you want to travel? How often? And uh, and then it's a matter of being able to measure our success against that. Attainable. You know what? I could say I want to double, triple my sales from 2020 in 2021, but is that realistic? Is it really attainable? These next two and the SMART goals go together. Attainable, realistic, and relevant, right? They go together, right? So it, it is important that I'm, I'm, I'm being specific. I have a way of measuring against my goals, what I want to accomplish, and it's attainable, right? Setting unrealistic, unachievable goals just for the sake of setting a goal um, sometimes can be counterproductive to me. And again, I'm speaking about me, right? You are you, you do things differently. So if that's what you want to do, that's great. But I'm speaking about me and I'm speaking about the SMART goal model. It talks about being attainable and real, relevant or realistic with your goals that you're setting uh, because it could have a counterintuitive effect, right? It could, in essence, demotivate you if you see that you're not trending towards doubling your numbers. You could get demotivated, fall off track, stop checking and tracking and assessing yourself, and then ultimately you know, not do anything. So, so be a, make sure the goal is attainable. Um, make sure it's realistic, it's relevant to what you want to do. Uh, and then also make sure it's time-based. And what does time-based mean? Time-based means obviously you, you want to accomplish it in 2021. Um, but you should also have, you know, partial intervals where you're able to accomplish certain things relative to that overall goal. You know, if I want to save X number of dollars next year uh, and add it to, you know, an investment or whatever the case may be, well, then I need to I need to be somewhere along the lines of saving towards that you know, by month one, month two, month three, right? So a third or fourth of the year, I should be at least somewhere close to that um, or at least on track to accomplish that. So time-based means, you know, I have a specific time frame that I want to accomplish that particular goal, but it also means I need to make sure that I've got relevant milestones or targets that, you know, that I'm targeting to hit to, to make sure I'm on my way towards hitting that goal. Um, PDCA, PDCA. So I set my goals and then I walk away and never come back and look at them again. Right. Uh, no, that's not exactly what it is. So PDCA, plan, do, check, act. And I'd like to say plan, do, check and react. PDCA is a way to you're setting your goals. We're planning it. We're, we're going and we're doing it right. We're, we're implementing those goals. We're, we're implementing the actions associated with it. But many times when I set a goal, there has been many times in the past where I have not checked to uh, see how I'm doing and progressing against that goal. So PDCA is a very good uh, strategy to check and assess how I'm doing against my goals. I get a chance to plan it. I get a chance to go do it and execute it. Now I get a chance to check at some intervals, check and see how I'm doing relative to those goals. Um, I've got to have milestones set up. If I want to accomplish a 10% improvement year over year, uh, I should be trending, you know, somewhere in that arena uh, every month, right, or every quarter. So I need to check against my plans to see how I'm doing. And if I'm not accomplishing the things that I've set out to do, then I need to be willing to act or react to that and get myself in a situation where I can get back on track. So. PDCA is a good strategy to to, uh, to to implement as well. We set our goals and then we've got to check against those goals to see how we're progressing. Uh, not wait to get to the end of the year and go, well, I didn't accomplish anything, right? That's because we didn't allocate time uh, to check and, and make some actions or reactions relative to that. So let's see if we can get Carlos back on and see if he can hear us now. Carlos, can you hear us? We can't hear you though, Carlos. Carlos. Uh, you have your your mic isn't connected is what it's saying, Carlos. Can you hear us? It says your mic is not connected. So you can hear us. You got to unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. All right. So um, Carlos is going to work on unmuting himself and getting it. Yes, I can hear you. There you go. Carlos. How are you, you, had, you had to unmute me. <laughs> I did. I had yeah. you muted. Yeah, you see that little mic down there? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good, good, How's good. How's going? Doing good. You know, been 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 a little busy this morning and and uh, having a little technical problems with my computer, but hey, you know, things happen. 
That's right. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. Well, uh, I don't know if you were able to hear. I know you were able to hear some of what I was saying, right? I was hearing everything. The goals. Okay. I love goals. I love okay. it. <laughs> well, I know you do. You're big in goal setting and goal planning. I know you are huge in this area. Man, I, and uh, and I, I couldn't wait to hear your perspective and your feedback on this whole thing. Man, I've been setting goals since I was 18 years old. You know, I have goals now. Granted, you know, that's the long term goals, too, you know. But, you know, I had goals that uh, I was supposed to hit at this age. And and that's how long ago I said it. Wow. And um, I, I wasn't I haven't quite hit it, but hey, you got to keep working towards it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I knew I know you're very you're a very goal oriented person. So I knew that this would be a good topic for you. you got to be smart with your goals. I love it. I love it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, you know how often people come out of the gates and and uh, want to hit home runs right away with with stuff. And, you know, I mean, sometimes that demotivates people, you know? Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, you got to set your goal. You got to, I mean, I break it down. I, I We've talked about this tons before. I love, I love setting goals. And I, and I, and I was th sitting here thinking this week, I'm like, man, 2021's coming up. I hope people are setting those goals, you know, and it hasn't, I've seen people talk about it, but it's not as much as it, it was. Mm -hmm. I think 2020 was supposed to be a big year for everybody. And it just, you know, kind of, didn't happen very well, you know? Yeah. Well, I think we all, you know, either 2020 is probably one of two ways for most people, you know, if, if, if I think about this, for some people, it's probably way under what they forecasted or anticipated, uh, you know, and then for others, it's probably way above, right? Because depending on where you work and what you did in 2020, you were either 50%, 25%, or maybe 150% of your goal, wouldn't you think? Yeah, yes, exactly. I mean, that's exactly right. There were some people that are just just, just rocking it and doing good and and still, you know, overcoming the, the uh, you know, lockdown and slowdown and the, the, the pandemic, but, but I, and there's some people that are struggling, you know, and I totally get it. You know, there's some people that just totally lost it, you know? And but you got to you the goals, believe it or not, if you don't set these smart goals, if you don't be specific about it, I'm not I'm telling you, I'm so specific. I love that first one specific, because when I do my sales goals for my business, I go down to, you know, I break everything down. I break it down to how many people I need to see, how much money they need to spend, you know, how many how many you know, how many people I need to talk to, you know, how many people that I need to meet or, you know, and, it, and then it just gradually works up to, uh, you know, all the way up to the close of the sale. So talk a, talk, Carlos, talk a little more about that. Elaborate a little more about that, because that is something that um, gets lost in goal setting, right? Like backdoor engineering your way to the goal. Talk a little more about that, because that is that is. That is something that I think gets lost in people. That's where I think for me in the past, it's been a failure point because I didn't go to that level of granularity that you just kind of discussed a little bit. Can you elaborate a little more on that? Yeah. So what I do, and this is my personal thing, and and I love it because, you know, I got to know what I'm doing. I got to know where I'm at every single day. And, and, and what I mean by you know, your schedule and all that stuff, you know, that's business. But, but when you break your goals down to, I break them down to um, how many people I need to meet, you know, okay. If you got this specific business, it doesn't matter what business you're in because I do it with all my businesses. It's the same thing. You know, it, I did it at, when I did it at 18 years old, I did it to figure out how many people I needed to talk to in the car business. I was in the car business for a long time and I sold a lot of cars and I needed to know how many, it's not just, okay, how much money do I make? It's not just how many cars do I sell? It's how many people do I need to talk to? How many people do I need to be in front of? How many people do I need to convert from, from, um, uh, how many people do I need to convert from a, 
a, a talk to, to a meet, to a sale, you know? So I break it down. I break it way down. And that's part of my goals. That's not just, that's a goal. It's not, it's not just a plan. You know, it's not just a, a business plan. I put it in my goals. So if I want, if I have Mail and Copy Plus and I know, I know just a, I'll tell you guys just a little bit. I know that we need to have a minimum and a minimum just to make it is, is we need to have 50 people a day coming through that door spending $20. Okay. Now, how am I going to get that 50 people a day spending $20? Because I have to break it all the way down. So now I know that I need to see, you know, I, I, I do it backwards. I, how, what kind of percentage rate do I, does it take for me to get talk to a person to convert them over to a sale? Um, so if I need to do 250, if I need to see 250 people in order to get half of those people to just to give me the time or day. And, and if I take half of those people to actually, you know, talk about business towards it and then half those people might uh, you know, do some business with me. So I have to break it down and I write it out. It's not easy to do, but part of those goals every day for me was how many people do I need to talk to? How many people do I need to, you know, when I meet them, do I convert them to a meeting, you know, and then, and then converting those meetings over to, you know, giving them a quote, you know, or, or giving them pricing, you know, and then how many of those pricing people do I close? Right. You know, so I break it down. I break it down tremendously. And that's part of my goal. So when I say business goals, I have my dollar amount that I need to hit. You know, my bare, I have my bare minimum of what I have to make, you know, because, you know, this, you got to know how much your bare minimum is. Because if you don't know that and you don't stick to it, you're not going to do it. You know, hey, this is what it's going to take for me just to get by. And that means that means if I go through a pandemic or if I go through a shutdown or if I go through, a, you know, three months of not having business for some reason. You know that your bare minimum dollar amount. You're going to be able to make it, you know, so that's just like when we went through the pandemic, mail and copy plus, you know, we freaked out. It was the same thing, just like anybody else. It, it went from our normal day of business to having two people come in the store. Mm -hmm. The very first day it shut down. Mm -hmm. But we knew that we could get by this because we had a bare minimum. Right. And we knew that we had to have this many people, this many dollars, this many. We had to talk to this many people. We had to get this many sales to get this to make it. Right. So, you know, and we we broke it down and we were making it, you know, and don't get me wrong. When we closed down, it was a it, we, we, we were scared just like anybody else. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we never closed down. But when everybody closed down and people started staying home, it's what you got to be prepared for that. stuff. So that's right. part of these goals. You know, you got to know what you need to do. So I know that when I, when all this happened, I went back to my store and I started working because I knew that my store was going to need help. That's right. You know, I knew that I needed to go back there and, 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 and make sure I work my goals again, because, because that's what it's going to take to keep the doors open, all right. you know? Right. So I, I, I have my goals set for each business. I have my goals set for my home life. I know that, you know, my personal life, I have my goals. Uh, and you got to have that realistic, you know, you got to have the realistic and obtainable goals. But the more you have, the more obtainable, and it's got to be obtainable, but it's got to be realistic and obtain obtainable because, uh, because you have to work towards that not it doesn't need to be realistic could be a high goal but you what are you going to do to do to go to that goal that's right you know are you gonna you got to make these many phone calls you got to meet this many people you got to make you got to to um you know meet you got to sit down in front of these people you got to 
you know, you, you got to get this many referral partners. You got to get this many, you know, I knew when I first started Melon Copy, it was, I knew I needed to sell 150 sets of business cards. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I knew, I knew each product of mine. I know I needed to sell 150 business cards. I know that we needed to do 10,000 copies. You know, I knew that we needed, to, I knew exactly everything that we needed to do just to make that dollar amount. How, do, how often did you, do you, did you check or do you check against your goals, against your, your planned, uh, your needed, your needed numbers? How often do you check against those numbers, Carlos? Daily. <laughs> <laughs> so I do it daily. Uh, I, I know it's it sounds obsessive, but if you don't if you don't know where you're at on a daily basis, then you're not going to get to your to your end goal. And you, there are certain things that you do daily. You know, my daily thing. You have to all the people you talk to all the people, all the phone calls you make, all the conversions, you have to do that on a daily basis. Right. Now, on a daily basis, I don't necessarily check my, when I'm 43 years old, you know, where my goal is. But mm-hmm. I do check my stuff, you know, month. I do it daily, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. There you go. There you go. That's um, the, and that's and I was talking about when you were you probably heard me when 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 you were, we couldn't hear you but where I was talking about the plan do check and act PDCA right so I mean yeah. and, and, you, and you said it the reason why I asked you that question because you said it you said I had to check and make some adjustments once the pandemic hit to my goals <laughs> yeah because because I knew that if we were going to be shut down okay what do i need to do to shift this okay we're gonna we're gonna be shut down but this isn't going to stop me from being open i'm not going to shut my doors i'm not going to stop my business now it was scary but you know the funny thing is is we applied for some of these business things that the the government was giving out yeah and that's we're a small business but i can tell you there's one of these things my wife did my wife applied for and they denied us as a small business owner. Hmm. And I'm, and I called her up and she's like, she goes, we or she called me and she goes, we got denied for that. I can't remember. It was some PPE or some, some loan or something. Right. And I'm like, we got denied. I'm like, how can we get denied? We're a small yeah. business. Yeah. You know what I mean? This yeah. is ridiculous. Right. She goes, we didn't lose enough money. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I was like, all this, all this work, all this downtime. I mean, we're we weren't anywhere right. on our sales. We weren't anywhere near what we normally do. And I'm like, what are you kidding me? And so I can admit to right now is that I didn't know exactly where we were at in our in at Melon Copy, you know, for our numbers wise. Right, and right. she said, I go, so where did we end up? Where are we at with our numbers? Why, how do we not lose enough money? And she says, we were actually up 10%. Ah. Wow. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, you know, goodness. but but then that made me so happy knowing that through this pandemic, and it, and I, I, I worked my tail off through it, but... Mm-hmm. But I, I, I got to give my mad props to to my clients, my people, my my supporters, everyone right. else, because I am so proud that when I hit when we hit our goal, we're 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 high. Our goals this year are still where we need to be. Nice. I can't believe it. I nice. cannot believe it. But if it wasn't for the clients and the customers that we had coming in on a regular basis, those people that are, you know, I don't know where some of these new clients came during that pandemic. I have no clue. All of a sudden, our phone started, our star phone started ringing. People started ordering things that they never hardly do. You know, we never did. We hardly do birthday banners. You know how many birthday right. banners we did? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, see that well, thing. I, I sent the you birth- one of my neighbors. I sent you one of my neighbors that was asking about those too. Yeah, the birthday banner, uh, birthday banner that they needed for a drive-by birthday because yep. you know what. Our life shifted. 
we had to yep. have mobile mobile birthday parties. That's right. You know, so our banner business went up, you know. So yeah. I appreciate that. But but we hit our we're, our goals are specific. And when I say when I think of goals, it's not like a I don't think of a just like what you said earlier. I don't think of it as a I want to travel, you know, I, or, or I want to do this in life or I need this car or I, I do have my I have a I have a file folder that has my um, my things that I want in life. You know, I want a boat. You know, I want a, a, this specific car. I want a, you know, I want these certain things. And I put that on there. It's kind of like your, what do you call those? Uh, uh, vision boards. Vision board. Yeah. It, it's kind of like that vision board. Um, you know, you make those vision boards and you got to have that. You got to set yeah. those goals. You got to be specific about it. So when it comes to business, you got to be specific about those goals. Yeah. I want to make a million dollars. Okay, that's fine. Make a million dollars. But how are you going to get there? You got to make this many phone calls. You got to see this many people. You got to talk to this many people. You got to, you know, be doing this, this certain things. And you got to break it, break it down. You got to be specific. That's right. Break it down. See, look at my checklist. Look look at my daily checklist. You know, my. Yeah. Yes. I see it every day. Roadmap to two million dollars. So you know, I print one of these things. I make it out, and 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 it's my roadmap. You know, it's it. my it's my thing that I. This is what I need to do on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, and it, you got to set those goals. It's it's you got to have that that measurable and obtainable goals, but be you know, set it out there, you know? Yeah. I knew at this age that I really wanted to retire. Now, am I there to retire? You know, I wanted to slow down and not work as much, mm-hmm. you know, to be there for our kids. My kids just graduated a couple of years ago, but, and I'm not quite there. I, I wasn't, but I set that goal. I, I set my goals for this age when I was 18 years old. Wow. You know, so now I got to set my goals for five years from now and 10 years from now. So I got to re you got to always be setting those goals. That's right. You got to work for them. You you got to make them in a timely manner, too. You know, in one year, I need to have this much income coming in. And, you know, in in two years, I got to have this much. And you got to hit it. You have to hit it now or come real close. Because, like I said, there's some goals that I haven't hit. But but you got, I'm close. I'm not, I'm not stopping either. I try. I try. Well, you know what, you know what your goals are, you know, where you are in relation to your goals and that's the power uh, unto itself. I mean, that's the power unto itself. Once you, once you know what you want, you know where you are in relation to it. Then the last step is just to make the adjustment, which is what you said. Like we made the, the adjustments. We also recognize that there was other opportunities that we didn't anticipate that we take advantage of banners, things of that nature, but it's all because you knew where you were, you know, in relation to where you wanted to be and you set the goals. And that's, that's like, to me, that's like 99% of what people sometimes just don't do. They just, they don't, if they set goals, they don't check against them and see how they're doing and progressing. And then the other, you know, the other percent just doesn't set them, right? They just like, just, they just drift in the wind and figure out how somehow drift my way to my goal of what I want to yeah. do. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. <laughs> And you and you and you gotta make time. You don't find time. You have to make time to go over your goals. You know because every day, every month, I you got to sit there and think. Okay, this morning it's like okay, where am I at? Okay, I'm at this 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 amount of sales. I'm at this dollar amount. I need to be at this one for this month. How many days do I have left? You know, how many days do I have left to hit this goal? And, and, and what days do I work? You know, I even break it down. I got Christmas coming up. I got Thanksgiving. I'm not going to do anything on those days. I'm going right. to work part of the day on, thing, on um, Christmas Eve. I'm not going to do anything on Christmas Day. It's going right. to be probably a slow day for me the day after because family is going to be around. So right. I know those three days I'm not doing anything. So i got to make up those three days because they're a part of the month. And some other, you know, days before, days after. But you just, I break it down daily. 
You know, I break my goals down. You got to break the sales. You got to break the process, the phone calls down daily. And mm-hmm. you got it. You got to set those go- goals. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely right. That's that's key. And you just said it. Set aside time for goals. Set aside time for goal setting. Set aside time to see how you're doing against those goals. You know, be intentional. You know, we got to be intentional. The intentionality is what leads to our success. If we're intentional about being successful, you know, we'll, we'll achieve our goals, but we've got to be intentional. We've got to allocate time. And it's not just a drift in the wind type of thing. You know, it's like, a, like, oh, my God, I hope to win the lottery. Well, you know, it doesn't work that way with goals, right? We've got to set them. We've got to, we've got to check against them. We've got to be intentional. We've got to plan. And then we've got to make adjustments. I mean, always got to make adjustments. We've got to expect to make adjustments, you know, because sometimes things go a different way. And, and that doesn't mean the game is over, like you said, right? Sometimes right. we have a COVID-19 and without COVID-19 it happens. That can happen any year. Right. And the thing is, is like, you know, I went, when I, 10 years ago, when I, when we started Melon Copy, it was, we didn't sit here and think in 2000, 2020, we're going to have a pandemic and we're going to be out of business, but right. you got to prepare for that stuff. That's right. That's right. Your goals, you got to be, you got to set your goals and and you got to keep them. Mm-hmm. Your goals are your goals. You set your goals. This, mon- this amount of money, you know, I, and this is what I'm going to do for my, to those goals. So I should say you set your SMART goals and you be detailed about what you want to do with your goals. You know, if, if, if you want to travel and you want to, um, you know, you want to travel around. Well, how are you going to travel? I'm going to be able to travel by having recurring revenue coming in. And, you know, I'm going to travel this many days or I'm going to travel these many weeks, you know, and you got to have those goals, but then you got to have a plan. I guess you should have a plan to to accomplish those goals. Mm -hmm. You don't ever change those goals you just change the way you do it, how you're getting there, the plan. Right. You know, you don't, the end result is always going to be there. Like I knew I needed to slow down and I knew by this age that I wanted to slow down and I want to spend more time with my kids. I knew that they're going to be still young enough to play with their dad. I wanted, I knew at this age that I could still play basketball with them. I knew at this age I could still, you know, kick a soccer ball with them. So I knew I knew when I was 18 years old that at 43 I was going to still be able to do that. Right. You know. That's right. I, I knew that. I knew at 43 I wanted to have be debt free. I didn't want to have a house payment. I didn't want to have. Now I still do, but I. It's not very big. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's dwindling down to to being paid off. You know, but. But I knew. Um, there was a lot of things that I set and and, at a, at a long-term goal and it never changed my plan. You know, my plan might have how many people I've called or how I make the money might have. Right. But, but my end goals are never going to change, you know? So you have to set those goals, but then you also have to set your daily goals. Mm -hmm. You have to break your big goals down to small goals. That's right. You know, so it's it is a big you have to set that time every day, every single day. There's some people out there that do it twice a day. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, at the end of the day, I look at it. But um, but mainly I do it in the morning just because, OK, what do I have to do today? Right. I have to make this many phone calls. You know, okay, this is where I'm at for the month. I know I need to make this many phone calls. I know I need to talk to this many people. I know I need to get this many sales. You know, so you just you you got to for any business out there, any sales or any kind of goals, life goals, got to have those life goals. That's right. You know, you know, it was just one of those things. If you're if you're starting out young and you don't have any kids and you want to have if if you want to have you want to make sure your kids make it through some kind of college nowadays, you know, you better save, you know, and you better know that, okay. So much of my paycheck is going to come out and it's going to go towards a college fund for these kids yeah. because it's going to be different. That's the thing is, it's going to be totally different. When I when I was a kid, I worked my tail off 
to get scholarships because I knew my parents already embedded it in my head is we can't pay for your college. Right. We don't have the money. My right. parents were my parents struggled to pay for the things that they did when they did do it. You know, mm-hmm. I, I was telling my wife the other day, my parents, my parents paid for my gymnastics years after I was already done mm. because they were still making payments. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And so that I knew that that I didn't want to live that life. And I knew that I wanted to set some, you know, money aside because it was different, you know, uh, you know, things are going to be different. College is going to be totally different. College is more expensive now, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and if you want to put them through it, then you need to set those goals and you need to put so much money aside, you know, it's yeah. everything, every yeah. single thing of these good, smart goals is, is you got to be smart about it. You got to set them and you got to stick to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's intentional. It's, it's planning, it's strategizing, it's going back and checking to see how we're doing against those goals. Those are, those are the things that make the difference, I think, in, in being able to achieve our goals. And, and, um, you know, and again, those are things that most people just overlook. So, um, so it's good stuff, man. I, I, uh, I knew this would be a good topic. The timing is perfect because, you know, we got a couple of weeks away from, uh, from 2021. You know, so so the time to start doing that, if you haven't already started doing that, is now, you know. And, uh, you know, I mean, we got, we got what, three weeks to go before, yeah. before we're rolling into 2021. So now is the time to start doing it. You know, take some time, a little bit every week, and, and, and it'll be done. It'll be done. Yeah, there's some people that are – there's some people that I know personally that are very, very successful, and they – they set their they start working on their goals in in um in June yeah for 20 for the next year yeah there's yeah. some people that start around June or so start thinking about next year there's yeah. some people that work a year in advance you know what i mean like this right. year the, everything they're doing they're working on for 2021 right you know right. Uh, it, it's it's um, it's so important. Yep, it's yep. so important in life. It, it, it gives you a a realistic. It gives you a um, it gives you something to live for. It gives you something to work for. It gives yep. you something to strive. Motivation, you yep. know, set that stuff up. Because if you don't write it down, or if you don't type it out, I don't care how you do it. Write it out. Type it out. It's not going to be in your brain. If you That's just right. talk about it, you know, you can talk about it and you can forget about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Writing it down is, is imperative. You know, I mean, I, 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 I work with some people, not work with people, you know, but I, I interact with some people and I, I ask them, hey, do you have a pad, a notepad? Do you have a journal? Do you have a list? Do you have something? You know, because there's a lot of things that that are thrown at us throughout the just the course of the day. And and, and it always amazes me of how many people write stuff down. And I know almost instantaneously that it's going to be forgotten. I, I know almost, yeah, I know. See, and I got mine too. We're old school, Carlos. Look, <laughs> you got multiple pads. Yeah. <laughs> Real estate, financial, yeah. home. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And then I still got this. So, I mean, I, I got plenty of stuff that I, I carry with me on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's almost guaranteed it's going to be forgotten if you're not writing it down. Almost guaranteed. And uh, before you came on, I, I I went back and looked at my my journal, and this was from 2015. And, and uh, I looked at my goal setting for 2015. You know, and uh, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. You know, I mean, I got all my goals. I even had a mind map, a mind map, right? So a mind map. You know, it's just all that is is just you know, taking a piece of paper out and, and writing what I want to do on a piece of paper, right? Just just a mind map, right? And that, that's a good start to goal setting as well, you know, but it doesn't have to be anything that's formal or real complicated or sophisticated. It just needs to be done, right? It just needs to be done. And we need to write it down. It gives it power. It gives it power. It gives it some level of accountability when it's written down, 
you know, and yeah. and then um, our subconscious also kind of pushes us and drives us uh, to accomplish some of that stuff too when we write it down. So there's so much power in writing stuff down, uh, aside from the fact that it helps us remember what we want to accomplish and what we need to do. There's so much power in that, right? So absolutely. So cool. All so, right, my man. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there. It's everything, everything in life. You need to set that goal. But, I, and I haven't been saying anything lately, but I, I really, I really have changed since this whole pandemic. It, it, it really makes people think, but I, I changed my life and I changed my goal. And, and uh, I really, really am thinking about amping it up. And I think I'm going to get my health way back into shape. And I, I think I'm going to hit a, I'm going to try for a hundred pound weight loss goal yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. I don't, people are like, oh, that sounds excessive, but it, it's, I think it's going to be where I want to be. You know, uh, it, people don't realize is that weight loss or, uh, you know, weight gain maybe, or, or, you know, athletics. I did it in my, you know, I had some goals for my, I worked my tail off all my life. I guess I started it when I was young. Mm -hmm. You know, I, mm -hmm. I always wanted to go to the Olympics. Right. And I strived and I worked my tail off and worked and worked and worked to try to get to make it to the Olympics. Now I didn't make it, right? but there were some fallbacks, you know, broken bones, you know, wrong things, you know, it just didn't happen. But but I worked my tail off to try to get it. You know, I worked my tail off to try to get scholarships instead of having me pay for it. You know, right. sure. sure. So, so you got to just everything in life, everything, let like your life goals, business goals, every single thing that you need. If it's a goal to, you know, train your dog to, to do all the tricks that they possibly can, then make that that goal and work for it. You That's know, right. whatever it takes. That's right. Absolutely. Well, let's be smart about our goals. Let's uh, let's write them down. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's the that's the takeaway. Uh, it's better to do something than to do nothing at all. Right. Let's do it. So. Uh, all right, Carlos, it's uh, 10 04. So I know you got some following up to do. I know I got following up to do. And uh, we appreciate everyone joining us. Like it, share it, drop some comments. Uh, let us know what you're doing for setting goals, what your goal setting strategies are. We'd love to hear about it, and uh, we'd love to, to share that information out with others as well. Yeah, yeah. Share share your goal settings in the comments or, or just post what you're doing for 2021. Uh, that way we can let other people get help too. You know, maybe people are asking. If you guys have questions about it, we might need to talk about that the, ne the next three weeks and see if, you know, we can talk about other things, but let's just bring up the goals and see how people are doing and yep. see if people need help for it. You know, some people need help. So people need help. that's right. That's right. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Carlos, thanks for joining. As always, you're a uh, infinite source of wisdom. And I knew this would be a good topic for you, knowing, knowing how well you do, it, you know, with goal setting, with accomplishing, with checking to see how you're doing. You're you know, one of the most planned and prepared people that I've ever met. And uh, I'm blessed to, to run, run, run cross paths with you because uh, I'm better for it because uh, watching you do some things uh, helps me because I've picked up and, and adopt a lot of those things. So uh, as the PDCA goes, I do a I do a lot of uh, reacting. So I react and check and then I'll take some action by grabbing some things that you're doing. So I thought this would be a great topic as well for you, my man. Yep. I love it. I love it. If you guys got any questions, reach out to us. All right. Good deal. All right. Well, have a good Friday. Hey, Carlos, you know, this is the 54th episode, but, you know, we're just like maybe a week or so away from our when we first started this thing a year ago. So, boy, how things have changed in a year. I know. I saw that. I saw that uh, post that you put up there. I'm like, holy cow. Yeah, I, I know. This. I know. I know. It was crazy. <laughs> and, we did it All right, man. and we did it through the pandemic. We did. We did. We did. We survived. So anything can be accomplished, right? Anything can be accomplished. All right. Anything, anything baby. Fuck Keep out. Talking away. Thank you, man. See ya. Bye-bye.